Seven. What's your name? You want to try it? Okay. Ready? Hey Isaac. Hey Mia. What happened to your leg? That looks painful. I broke it skateboarding and had surgery. I was in the hospital for a few days, so I'm staying after for math help. But wait, I haven't seen you in like two weeks. Where have you been? Actually, I was in the hospital too. I was feeling pretty bad. My dad took me in. The doctor said I should stay here for a while so they can help me feel better. And they didn't give you one of these awesome leg casts? It's a different kind of hospital. They help people who aren't feeling good, but it's more like in your mind, your thoughts and your feelings that need to get healthy. When I landed the wrong way, my leg bent at a weird angle. That pain felt like fire. My friend called 911. How'd you know you needed to go to the hospital? Sometimes I get stressed and nervous about taking tests or the news, but this was different. I was shaking, I couldn't breathe, I wouldn't leave my room because I was afraid that I wouldn't be safe. It was scary. I'm glad my dad took me to the hospital to get help. My doctor, my therapist, and all the adults were awesome. They understood how I was feeling and listened without judging me. I see my physical therapist every week to exercise my leg and to make it stronger. But the doctor said that it still might hurt when I'm older or might need another operation. What if it never gets better? I asked my therapist the same thing. He said that I wouldn't always feel this way because I'm learning all these new ways to take control of my anxiety. I worry about things too, like all the work and pressure to fit in at school. Yeah, sometimes I wish I could skip over this being a kid stuff and be an adult now. Same, I can't wait to be a firefighter. Oh no. I have to be able to run and climb, and what if my stupid leg gets in the way? Okay, now I'm super anxious. I want to be a teacher, but when I was in the hospital, I thought I'd never be able to be one. What would the kids do if I stood there shaking and sweating? What if I miss classes because I was afraid to leave my house? And what are you thinking now? That nothing gets in my way. Everyone is going through something, and we shouldn't be be afraid to be real with our friends. I thought people just wouldn't want to deal with it, but instead they helped me feel better. It's funny, everyone asks me how my leg feels, but I haven't talked to anyone about how I feel. It's really nice. Maybe we could text sometimes, just you know, to check in about being a kid stuff. Sure. Hey, can I sign your cast? 20 years later. Fire Safety Week, Mr. Isaac with special guest, Fire Chief Mia Vasquez. It's okay to not feel okay. The end. So what do you guys think about that? Did you understand it? Yeah. What it's trying to get across? Kind of like, you know, you can go to the hospital when you have a cold or when you break your leg but you can also go when you don't feel good kind of mentally when you're upset about things. And they're just trying to say, you know, that's okay. It's not weird. It's not something to be ashamed of. Yeah? That's very true. If you guys couldn't hear him, he said, it's always good to talk about how you feel when you're feeling right. Self-talk? What do you mean by that? It's when you, like when you, talk, when you say something in your mind that you don't think it is. Definitely. Definitely. That's very true. Because anything you say in your mind, anything you even say out loud is very powerful. Your words are super powerful. But I also dealt with my own mental problems myself. So I have alopecia. Does anyone know what that is? No. No? You do? What is it? Okay. Yes. 
Do you know just that? Yes. You know? Yes, my hair is a wig. That's what I told you earlier, right? <laughs> and that's why my hair is a wig, because I have alopecia. I wanted to hide. Anytime anyone would ask me, you know, are you wearing a wig? I'd be like, no, it's my hair. Try and play it off, because it made me so uncomfortable and so nervous. But now people are like, is that a wig? And I'm like, yeah, this is a new one. I just got it last week. I have like 10 more at home, because it doesn't <laughs> bother me. Whether it be alopecia, whether you feel like you have anxiety or depression or whatever is going on in life. You know, don't let that defeat you. Don't let it put you down because you can always come out better. You can always by yourself. And the best thing you can do is talk to someone about how you feel, whether it be a friend, whether it be an adult, someone at school, your parents. Talk to someone. Do you all think she did a good job? Yeah! yeah. What about Thank Mario you guys. here? Yeah! yeah. Thank you. Barber time all the time.